Now we're going to check in with our Jonah Gilmore, who joins us from the mayor's office of Homeland Security and Emergency Preparedness. Mayor Broom, of course, wrapping up her latest update just within the past hour. But Jonah, good afternoon, sir. Preparations continue at this four o'clock hour. Hey, good afternoon, Chad. Yes, preparations uh, still going on. That conference just wrapped up a few minutes ago. Mayor President Sharon Westerbroom thanked the staff and community for working together during a uh, tropical storm Barry. She says while this is moving along, they're still asking people to shelter in place. The big takeaway here, there is no curfew for East Baton Rouge Parish. Mayor Broom says that call is based on a few factors, most importantly um, outages in neighborhoods and flooding where they're asking you to watch in the overnight hours. Now, Sheriff C. Gotro is asking people to remain cautious and vigilant, and he joins me live right now. Thank you for joining me, um, Sheriff. Um, stay cautious, stay vigilant, stay off the roads is what you're asking people, correct? That's exactly right. I think everybody's done very well in making preparations for this storm. Uh, we see very little traffic on the roads, and, and that's a good thing. But, uh, you know, we're still not out of the woods. Uh, it, it looks a little better than it did, but we don't want people to take that as a you know, overconfidently because, you know, we still got uh, the worst that they said we will see will be between 9 a.m. this evening and 9, I mean 9 p.m. this evening and 9 a.m. in the morning. So, uh, you know, we want everybody to remain vigilant, just remain in place, and, and we're going to be monitoring the situation. Uh, you know, we have units out. We're going to be checking the low-lying uh, areas, the areas that are prone to flood uh, for any water. We're going to be checking the river levels on a commit and a meet. So, uh, you know, we're going to be ready, and we have people in place at all those locations, all our substations. We've got boats and emergency personnel ready to respond. We just ask people to continue to do what they're doing. Uh, so far, the citizens have responded greatly. Uh, and it, just stay at home. If you don't have to be on the road, don't get on the road. And if you have an emergency, and it's a emer true emergency, dial 911. Uh, if not, you can, you can dial 311 or 211, depending on what, what, you, what you're looking for. Uh, and I, I think, uh, you know, we're just hopeful for the best, you know. And, and of course, I think the further west this thing moves from us, the, the better it'll be. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the, they're still saying we're going to get anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of rain. So, uh, you know, if that's the case and this thing moves out of here quickly, we're, we're still going to have some localized flooding, but we shouldn't have anything near on the magnitude of what we experienced in the past. And one of the other things you talked about, you talked about uniformed deputies and plain coats deputies looking out for criminals on the streets, correct? You're thinking they're big target businesses that have closed for the storm? Right, and we know this from past experiences. Uh, in the heat of the storm, in the, in, the, in the worst part of the storm, that's when the criminal element seems to take advantage of that. So we have, uh, and there's Baton Rouge City Police as well, we're working together with them. Uh, we have plainclothes officers that are in those areas. They'll keep an eye on pawn shops and pharmacies and stuff like this. So, uh, you know, we're going to be vigilant to that throughout this event until it's over with. But, uh, you know, we, we're hopeful everybody will stay inside until, until this thing has passed and we're through with uh, out of harm's way, so to speak. Okay. Thank you so much, Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. You. Now, energy was also on hand here. They say as of now, there are about 15,000 customers that remain without power. One thing energy says is uh, they're watching the wind speed because their workers go up in lines and buckets, and if the wind speed reach above 30 miles per hour, then that raises a safety hazard for them. And some phone numbers you need to um, be mindful of 911 for emergencies, 311 for down power lines, and 211 for evacuations and shelters. Now, in East Baton Rouge Parish, there's a shelter open at Southern University and another at 3355 Groom Road. There, you cannot bring pets. American Red Cross is on hand. In Baker, a shelter is set up at City Hall. Zachary didn't provide any information on shelters. And of course, as you just heard, the sheriff said they're asking you to stay cautious and vigilant, stay off the roads, and shelter in place. Reporting live from Mosep, Jonah Gilmore, MC Local 33 News.